should I show you guys how long my hair is? Show you what my shrink is dealing with. Don't want to show my back fat on my rolls, so. <laughs> and I showed them both. <laughs> Funny. So yeah, that's my non-apparent waistline. So I am actually at waist length. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how I got this amazing braid out from an old wash and go that I had from last week. So it's just showing you how you can possibly stretch your wash day for another week or so. I don't really skip my wash days often, but sometimes I don't have the time to wash my hair because it, you know, it does take a long time sometimes. So this is something that I do occasionally. Sometimes I'm just too lazy, just feel too lazy to wash my hair. And I'm thinking, hmm, how can I stretch my hair for another week? And this is what I do. <laughs> so if you're intrigued on how I was able to achieve this on old hair, um, just keep watching. And if you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more lazy hairstyles like this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get straight into the video. This way. So right now my hair is wrapped up in my hair tie. I've had it on since the morning. Let me just take it down so you can see what I'm working with. <laughs> So this is an old wash and go that I've been wearing all week and this is about eight days old. So I'm overdue for my weekly wash. I leave Sunday for my designated wash day and yeah, I'm trying to stretch it until Sunday. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I'm working with. Eight day hair. Mm -hmm. I did do the wash and go that's on my channel again and I didn't do the shingling method this time and it still came out pretty good like despite all the frizz that it has at the moment it's still got some definition I'm gonna show you exactly what I do if I'm trying to be you know nasty and not wash my hair for the week this is what I do so firstly I'm going to part my hair into four sections being careful not to snag any hair as I'm doing this so just think of the tangle if you need to I'm just twisting each section roughly as I part them off. I go ahead and put my hair up out of the way and I'm working on one section at a time. So in this bottle I have water and a little bit of conditioner and I'm going to spray it all over each section of my hair. Just to re-wet it a bit, um, not to get it too wet you don't want it to work because it's going to take forever to dry so just to dampen it really and then I'm just going to work it through my hair while you're doing this you can just finger detangle a little bit by raking it through so I'm not going to be using any combs or anything because I really hate to have my hair when it's in a dry state I only comb my hair when I wash it anyway so it's a big no for me to wash to comb my hair. And I'm just gonna spray some of that water onto my roots as well. And just massage that in. Finger the tangle a little bit. Just be very careful with the knots. Just carefully, carefully take them out. I'm gonna Use some more water and get my hair again because my hair is very porous, so it, it does take in the moisture really well. A little bit too well. It's not wet, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's like just damp. Yeah. On my roots, I'm going to be using some of this oil mix that I prepared. I did have a video on my hair oils, but my hard drive decided to fail on me so I literally had about six videos that I recorded was ready to edit and the hard drive decided to fail on me so I'm having to start from scratch guys so bear with me with the hair I'm gonna have to record it again <laughs> but never mind 
at least I can try to make the videos a bit better this time around. But anyway, I'm just massaging that oil onto my scalp. It's a lightweight oil. It's it stimulates my roots as well, which is good for hair growth. And I usually do this um, a few days before I wash, but because I'm not washing, I just want my roots to have a little bit of um, moisture. Then I'm going to take some of this other hair mixture that I made. <laughs> and this one is for the strands. The other one's for the roots, and this one's for the strands because they've got different, different, different oils. Basically, um, the ones for the strands are more penetrative. I'll probably do the oiled video in a different way because I want to explain more about oils. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss that video. So yeah, I'm just taking a small amount and placing it on my strands of my hair and applying more to the ends, of course. I'm gonna spray a little bit more water because I just see my hair dries too quickly. It's ridiculous. Not too much water. That's why you want it to be a little bit wet so that the products can penetrate your pressure. And the last thing that I'm doing is taking my Sheer Moisture Head Enhancing Smoothie. This is a holy grail for me. But I have, before I started using this, I did used to use the Cantu. Sorry, <laughs> the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream, and yeah, I like that product. If you don't have this or you don't want to spend over ten pound on a product, um, get the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. That one's a good one too. So I've got about that much. So I'm gonna work on this gradually because I don't want to put too much product in. Not much again. Finger to tangle as I go. And have a little bit. Apart. So I just section it off and do a bit on the insides of the area. And I'm just going to apply a little bit more on my ends because they're dry. So now it should be much easier for your hair to be finger detangled. This will save it from getting too knotty until wash day. Because there's nothing worse than dealing with really tangled hair on wash day. It is so infuriating. I don't really don't want to cause any further tangles because that can result in hair breakage. And breakage obviously doesn't retain the length of your hair. So you want to really avoid that if you're trying to grow your hair out. So now I've got all the products in my hair, and my hair is quite finger detangled. I'm going to go ahead and braid this section. I'm going to try to put the braid as high as possible because when I take down the braid, I don't want it to be just like got a crimp down here and then, you know, a curl pattern. So I'm going to try and put it as high as possible. Try not to snug your hair. I'm not doing too tight of a braid. Well, I'm going to do it tight at the top, not tight tight, but tight fur. Then I'm going to do the ends because I don't want it to be too tight and then, you know, the hair can't dry for the next day. And once you get to the end, just finger detangle a little bit. And if it feels a bit dry, you can go ahead and add some products, which I just might do. Just a little bit. My ends are hella dry. They need a trim really bad. I'm gonna be recording my new hair straightening routine. It's a, it's hell of a lot different than the one I've got on my channel at the moment. And I'm gonna show you how I trim my hair every time I do straighten my hair. Cause I uh, I tried to cut my hair curly before and yeah, it was okay. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not really down for that at the moment. So I just cut my hair and it's straight. And then I just twirl the ends like this. Just to work that product more into the ends. Mm -hmm. And then I take a perm rod and I just put that in the ends of my hair.
and then you just repeat that for each section. Sorry about the light change. The sun just decided to go in, so this is just the lights that I have on at the moment. Let me try and turn on my ring light to see if I can bring back some sunshine. How annoying. <laughs> So this is two days after I did the braids and I'll just show you what they look like. And I held it back with a satin scrunchie throughout the day. I just took off the bonnet and just held it back with the satin scrunchie. And as you can see, they've got a little bit frizzy. Yeah, I couldn't record yesterday because I ran out of time. So it's not really gonna affect the way the braid out comes out. It's just gonna be probably just a little bit frizzy. But it's fine. So I'm just going to take off this scarf. I'm just going to take out the brown rods. So I'm just going to add some more of this oil mixture onto each braid of my hair. And I'm just going to carefully take each braid out. Try and take down the braid strand by strand to try and reduce as much frizz as possible. Be careful not to snag your hair when you're taking out the braid. There you go. So what I'm not going to do now is separate the strands. I try not to separate them too much because I don't want it to become too fluffy um, but if you do like the fluffy look just go ahead and fluff it out as much as you want so now I'm going to take my afro comb and I'm just going to fluff out the roots a little bit again I don't want to fluff out the roots too much because I don't want to comb out the braids so just a little bit just to get some volume in the roots and then I'll go ahead and just shake out the roots a little bit with my hand I'm just trying to get rid of these partings here. And it's a good thing that I degreased my scalp because right now you'll be seeing a lot of dry scalp just flying everywhere. I'm just going to separate it a little bit because as you can see there's a little bit of definition left from the washing girl. So it's separating by itself really. So I'm just going to Right, just a little bit. Mm. 
honestly guys i much prefer doing a braid out on my wash and go rather than freshly washed hair because i mean look at this crazy i'm just gonna part my hair how i usually part it try not to cause a lot of frizz and i'm just gonna shake out these roots again just so that they can combine properly on this side surprised myself actually it's actually it looks really good <laughs> so yeah and um, this is the finished look guys i will try and rock this for another week or so but i know towards the end of the week i'm just going to be putting my hair up in a bun that's how it goes but um honestly look how quick and easy that was and that's literally on an old washing go that looked really tatty and dry and ugh. And look, it's looking hella defined again and it looks shiny, healthy, bouncy. Just like I washed it. Sunshine, come back. Come back. I would consider myself a lazy natural. I'm not overboard on what I do to keep my hair um, in optimal condition. Um, oh my god, the sun's really gone down low, isn't it? I'm not overly adventurous with my hair. It's just wash and goes and braid outs and twist outs. I just want to see what else I can do with my curly hair. Because as you know, as a natural, it gets boring after a while. And try to bring the fun back. The sun's come back out. Look at me. Look at me and just shining bright like a bloody diamond if you enjoy the content give it a thumbs up it really does help me out and it also helps me to know what kind of videos everybody likes thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye so if you're a lazy natural like me and you want to stretch out your wash and go like i did <laughs> funny what am I gonna do about this this stupid lighting situation though? Gosh. Dead. Hmm? No, the sun's gone down. What today? What today? What today? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon.